Hello folks, welcome to this episode of the Prophet EZ1. Uh, I'm here to bring you another little warning thing. Another little sign of something from the end times. Uh, so, hey, without hesitation, I'm going to keep this very brief. Let's just get into something here. This is uh, Revelation chapter 8. And, you know, I've done videos already. Uh, maybe I'll put links to some of this stuff that I'm going to mention here beneath this video. But I've I've done videos on the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven vials. Uh, and some of this is included in there. But I'm going to get into a little bit of it here with just a little bit more detail. Because like I say there's a warning in here for you too. All right. All right. So here we go. Uh, Revelation 8, starting in verse 1. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of an hour. Now, if you've seen some other videos, you'll understand that the seals are one thing. They don't affect us as they're getting opened. When the, when the trumpets start blowing, oh yeah, each of those will affect you, and each of those vials will have their effect. And whether or not they'll affect you depends on if you're one of the seal that God, or if you're one of those who's taking the mark of the beast. At least that's with the wrath of God part of the tribulation. Uh, so let's see. So, like I'm saying, see the seals are like the war plants. But you don't do anything till the trumpets start blowing. And then those se the seals that have already been opened, yes, those things begin occurring then after the trumpets start blowing. You know, it's not like each seal is open and that event occurs and each trumpet is open and that event occurs and then each vial. In fact, during the time of the trumpets and the vials, many of those will be overlapping. So I don't know if you understand all of that, but that's the way that it is. And maybe if you'll see some of those other videos that I have on those subjects and study the scriptures dealing with that, you'll understand what I'm saying. All right, so let's go right, right back to the beginning. Well, we haven't gotten very far yet, but that's okay. So we're not going through a whole lot here. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half hour. So see, nothing's really happened yet. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God to whom were given the seven trumpets. So the seals have already been opened. The angels with the trumpets are still there before God. And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. And it was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up for, before God out of the angel's hand. So see this angel, you know, he's not one of the ones with the trumpets. He's got this censer and, and with incense. And the smoke is coming up with the prayers of the saints. You know, he's not listening to other people's prayers. You know, the prayers of the saints, and they're coming up before God. This is just before the trumpets start blowing, okay? Because we're going to know. Like, like my video about the thief, you know, getting robbed because he was unaware. All right. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angels took, so after this came up, the prayers and all. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. So you see, I'm just trying to show you that the seven seals already get opened before any of these angels. They're just now preparing to sound. After the space of a half hour, which isn't just a half hour. And after.
after this angel brings up the prayers of the saints. And you know, I encourage you in all my videos to pray. Especially pray that you be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Because there's things coming that uh, you'll either be killed or escape or survive. Let's just put it that way. That's why I have these videos to warn you. I know there was a couple other things I wanted to share with you, but I just want to share that. Oh, that, that was part of it. Let me get back to this real quick. Yeah, right before it ended there. Okay. See, it says, now here's what happens first. And the angel took the sun censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Like, let, let me tell you something. When it says, and, and an earthquake, it doesn't mean, and an earthquake. It means, and an earthquake. An earthquake. Probably the second biggest that will ever have been. Because the biggest is the one that's going to come at the last trumpet. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, I think it's in that order. This one here will be the second biggest. So this is going to be an earthquake like no other. This will be an earthquake you're going to know about. So when that happens, you, you know then that the, the trumpets have been prepared to sound and they're about to start sounding. All right, so I just want to share that with you so that you don't get too overly excited. Don't worry about what's coming yet. But as I said, as I tell you a lot, be prepared. You know, no one knew that the flood was coming. He had plenty of warning and he had direction from God. And he prepared. And you need to do the same thing. All right. That's it for now. Uh, glad I was able to keep this brief. I just, I figured I had to share that with you. As I was reading a little while ago, I said, oh, yeah. Mm. So anyway, look, y'all, subscribe to my channel. Check out my videos. I'll keep you informed when I get moved to do it. Meanwhile, I hope y'all have a good day. Make sure you read your Bible. Study your Bible. Pray. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, because God says it too. Pray that you be accounted worthy to escape all these things. And in order to be worthy, you better repent from your sins. So pray about that too. Ask for forgiveness for your sins. And repent. All right, that's it for now. Hope I see you here, there, or in the air. All right.